The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports nearly 50 million Americans live with chronic pain, and many take opioids to deal with it. Now, a new weapon in the fight against pain has some reaching for virtual reality headsets instead of the pill bottle. How does that feel? Feels good. Mia Raybeck is doing amazingly well just four months out of spine surgery. I had what is called a meningioma, which is a benign tumor on my spinal cord. She underwent a five hour surgery to remove the tumor, but Mia was determined not to rely on opioids for pain. Pain medication was certainly a concern for me because I've seen the effects on family members and loved ones. It became the quick fix, right? So we'll give someone a pill and you know, then they'll be able to do more. Physical therapist Jeff Hathaway says we were taught the body tells the brain how to perceive pain when the opposite is really true. The brain decides whether the pain, the signal it's getting is important and whether you should feel pain or not. He says the key is giving patients the tools to desensitize their central nervous system and lower their sensitivity to pain. Take a few slow, deep breaths in and out. He's using virtual reality technology combined with physical therapy to help patients manage pain without pills. Please rate your usual level of pain on average during the last week. Patients are asked to rate their pain level and concentrate on mindful meditation. Mia did the VR sessions pre and post surgery. She only took three of the oxycodones she was prescribed. This is a game changer. We can see a completely elimination or at least a reduction. You can manage your pain without pain medication. Mia is feeling stronger every day and says if she can do it, anyone can. Breakthrough Therapy tracked post-surgical patients in this program for one year and found that the cost of care was reduced by 45 percent. That meant fewer pain medications and fewer ER visits. The developers of the VR therapy hope to make it part of a physical therapy regimen in centers all around the country.